In your throwing program, you'll have your individual phases, which match the distances in the intensity. But I want to give you more of a specific example of how the energies applies to each phase. So let's say I just started my day and I'm starting off with my first throw in training phase two. I'm going to back up, but what you'll see is if I'm here and I just caught the ball, I'm making my first throw of the day. I'm a pitcher, so I'm going to get the ball, and my throw is going to equate to roughly 30% intensity. Okay. So it may look something like this. Okay, there's my 30%. I would make the recommended number of throws in the phase, and then as I go to 50%, catch the ball, now my energy just increases 20%. So I'm gonna just increase the energy a little bit, making sure I'm getting true ball flight. And let's say I made my required number of throws at 50%. Now, I have the opportunity to start going to, hey, a little bit harder. So I can go to my, you know, my bullpen, training phase 4A, I can go 50, 75, 80%, okay? But if I'm going to performance phase, a game, a high intensity bullpen, now I start, I'm gonna start really moving into my throw as a part of my energy, okay? So that's how you make sure that you apply the energy into the phase, into your pattern.